Today I'm going to tie a fly that I've been uh, experimenting with uh, through, well, for the past couple of years or so. Uh, this is a cased caddis imitation. Uh, caddises, cased caddises and caddis flies are, are a huge source of food for trout uh, and Arctic char in Iceland, so it's always a good choice to have a few of them in your box. Uh, I've mainly been experimenting with uh, the materials I use for the body, and I think I've uh, finally reached uh, a conclusion on, 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 on that part. So, uh, the hook I'm going to use today is from Arex, it's called FW561. Traditional lymph hook with a fairly long shank, and that's exactly what we're looking for with this fly. Uh, I have a matte black at the end of the hook, 2.8 millimeters. Uh, you can use gun smoke uh, if you don't have the black one, but I generally try to keep keep the bead on the darker side, not gold or copper or something like that. But you should definitely just use uh, use the thing that use the color that works on on your your water if you're gonna try it at home. It's a bit far. Now, as I said, uh, cased caddises and caddis flies are, are, are a really important food source for freshwater fish in Iceland. Uh, we don't have the mayfly hatches that can be found in the US and, and around Europe, but we do have caddis flies. And if you're planning on fishing in Iceland, definitely tie some up. I start by forming the body a bit with a, with a thread, probably not necessary, but that's how I do it and should probably leave it alone, but it works. Now the materials used for the body. Uh, as I said, I've, I've experimented a bit throughout the years and what I'm using now and what I will probably continue using is a blend of four materials that I put in the coffee grinder and then mix them well together. Uh, and what I use today is deer hair, spectra dubbing in peacock, natural grey squirrel dubbing, and dark grey hair's mask dubbing. Uh, Proportion-wise, you should definitely go with the color that's most prominent for the caddis, uh, case caddises on your waters. Uh, I tend to lean towards the darker side, uh, so I use more of the dark grey hair's mask. Uh, the deer hair is mostly used for texture, so you can definitely should definitely be able to use elk or something like that. Well, I like to split the thread. You can do this with a dubbing loop as well. It's entirely up to you. And once you've mixed the materials together in the coffee grinder, you can probably do it in your hand as well, but the coffee grinder works really well. You should end up with something like this. As you can see, the spectra dubbing is really sparse, just to give the give the give a little bit of sparkle. And once you start putting the material in in the thread or in your dubbing loop, loop, you can be quite generous generous with it. We're going to spin the thread and then wrap up the body and use our scissors to, to trim it a bit. Well, trim it a lot, to be honest. Once you're happy, close the thread and spin the bobbin. dabs with the dubbing needle just to loosen things up. So start wrapping up the shank. If you see some deer hair getting trapped, try to pull them back. But if you can't do it, it's no problem at all. Once you're about halfway up the shank, 
take your velcro brush the body up a bit, little bit There. Secure the thread. Now before you start cutting it, take your Velcro again and brush out the trapped fibers. Now we can't leave the fly looking like this as no self-respecting fish will eat this. So come in with your scissors at an angle and try to try try to keep the same angle around the whole fly but you can always trim it. Now, for the hot spot, uh, I like to use dry fly fine dubbing, super fine dubbing in amber. If some other color works on your water, orange or red or chartreuse or something like that, don't hesitate to try it. But this works here. little bit of varnish on the thread before tying off. There it is, a case cut is ready and if you're going to fish for trout in Iceland you should definitely have one in your box. Tight lines. <laughs>